Hello, it's Ace here today, and today I have an RC to unbox. This is the Pioneer Brave. It's also known as a Subotech BG1518. That's for parts reference. It is a 112th scale, four wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz RC car. Let's check out the box. 112th scale buggy. It has proportional steering and throttle. The controller has steering dual rate adjustment and the left and right adjustment. <coughs> okay. And on the back here it says we got high speed motors, real rubber tires, rudder machine, which is a servo, has real metal ball bearings and a metal differential and it comes ready to run with a 1500 milliamp 7.4 volt nickel cadmium battery that is not a lipo battery a lot of people say they're lipos and I thought they were lipos at first when I bought my first one but they are not they are nickel cadmium <coughs> the box says 45 kilometers per hour and the car has lights here on the front and the bumper. My other cars, the other two of these I bought, will run about 30 miles per hour. So it's not a bad car for the price. Right now, there's a lot of places on Amazon selling them for $70, $80. And I got this one for about half of that. There's one company on Amazon right now, and I'll put the link in the description, that is selling this car for thirty dollars at this moment which is a really great deal for what you get <coughs> and there's all the warning stickers on the other side of the box so let's get to opening it now open the box and here in the box we got the controller inside of here 2.4 gigahertz basic controller it's fairly comfortable to hold Got a plastic steering wheel here on the on the controller. Here in the center is a bind button. This is the steering dual rate, and there's the steering trim. Here's the power button. This takes three double A batteries. And the first mistake that people make when they buy these is they don't bind them, and they think the car doesn't work. When you get one of these, you have to put the battery in the car. You turn the car on first then you turn the controller on but while you're turning the controller on you press the bind button and hold it and then the servo on the car will will jerk a little bit and it comes with spacers for the shocks comes with two spare CVD axles which are plastic a small screwdriver and a tire tool in there and some pins it also comes with a wing in the package <coughs> here is the charger it's a USB balance charger for the battery. And here's the car. This one is blue or green, teal, whatever, how you look at it. And see there's the lights there on the front. And real rubber tires. It actually comes with metal CVD axles. So, it does have metal axles, it's four wheel drive. Underneath, you'll see the battery compartment, and this little thing here spins one way or the other. And then you slide open a battery compartment, and voila, here's the battery. This is what I'm talking about a 1500 milliamp nickel cadmium battery. It's not a lipo, but if you take cut this tip off because this is a proprietary tip if you cut this tip off this car you can put a Dean's connector on here and you can run a 2S LiPo battery on this with no issues I have two other cars like this and I do it to them with no issues it comes with a 390 motor and it has bead block wheels which is really interesting for a car of this price these are bead blocks and the wheels feel kind of loose and wobbly but 
for a cheap car, for a beginner, it would be great. And it's not too fast, you lose control. <clears throat> These handle very well. And here soon, I'll be taking it outside for its first run. I'll be back. Okay, Sage here again. I'm back with the Subotech VG1518. I'm out here for a run. Just a short run to see how it goes. And this car will go through grass. A little bouncy, but not like my photography skills. A little bouncy, but I'm doing it with one hand, so let's see if it'll do a peel out in the dirt. Oh, it will. That 390 is quite peppy. Nice. If you want one of these, the link will be in the description. This is a great beginner's RC for someone. Have a good day, guys.